Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome back to F1 2007. Uh, I believe this is the fourth part. Uh, I know I really haven't been posting that much F1 and such. I've been busy with other things, like obviously Siege videos, but I just want to thank you all for the continued support on the Siege vids and the Formula 1 vids. I know F1 like is kind of a weird option for this channel, <laughs> especially since it's mainly focused around Siege and Battlefield and stuff like that. But like I said, I wanted to, you know, provide some variety and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Anyways, we got Spain today. We got the Spanish Grand Prix, 17 laps. I will say though, we did qualify an excellent P2 again in Spain, so we have another chance to take our take another win. So if you haven't watched the other episode, by the way, the last episode, it's in the top right. But, uh, yeah, here we go. All right, here we are, Spain, and let's go to the starting grid. Uh, you shall see me in the front row about now. There you go. <laughs> and seeing how our race starts are, we do have a chance to maybe take another win, but we're not going to count on it, though. So strategy, mediums to hards. All right, sounds good. 17 laps, though. This is, uh, I mean, Spain, it's not really a good track for action, but hopefully... Hopefully this episode we can make it interesting. Anyway, 17 laps of Spain. I'm gonna hold the clutch. Three lights, four lights, five lights. And away we go. And... Oh, almost. Okay. I spun the wheel so badly on that restart. Here comes Mark Webber on the inside of us. Yeah, we did not get a good start there. I spun the tires real, real bad. Webber's gonna take the lead though. Wow. <laughs> He stormed up on the inside of us as Hamilton is trying to take the position away from us. We kind of hit him a little bit. Oh god, so not a good start from us, but I mean, it could be worse, so it's alright. Okay. No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Massa will be kicking himself too because Weber's gotten past him as well. I did not mean to hit him. I spun the tires real bad and I almost steered like right into him. <laughs> so that was my fault. Oh god, I forgot. This is the old Spain... Like, with this turn, I forgot about that. And stuff. As we're getting past by Coltar, no. At straight line speed, though. And there's the Ferrari of Raikkonen as well, but we could take back that position. From Raikkonen, oh, make contact. Wow, it's really not a... <laughs> He's coming back. <laughs> He's trying. Oh, he goes so deep on that turn. Oh, and he touches again. Man, this is really not a clean race for any of us. But hey, the battles continue. There you go. Got past Raikkonen. Okay, out of the last turn. We got a better exit that time around. Thank goodness. But Raikkonen's still gonna get us. Please. No. Oh man, yeah, this with our straight line speed, yeah, they, we we really get destroyed at this track. It's not good for us. <laughs> oh, but we got back at Raikkonen. Oh man, I really thought we were gonna touch there. <laughs> I guess not. And okay, yeah, Raikkonen's got the position, but we do have DRS, so we could, if we put our car in a good position in these next few turns, we could actually get back to Raikkonen, even on the front stretch too. Okay, got a good run out of that last turn. We have DRS, but I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. It's not. You can see we're still losing <laughs> time because our, our aerodynamics on the straight are not really good. Same with the engine speed. Really not good. Okay, I assume we're just going to stay here for uh, until our pit stop because I don't see Kibitza really attacking us in these next few laps unless, you know, we slip up. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. We got a new strategy option. What is it? Lap 9, lap 7. Nah, I'm gonna pit at lap 7. At this track, honestly, eh, I don't know. I'm not really too fond of pitting like that late. 
I got another fastest lap. Oh my god. Oh, our pit window is open. I know, like, you may have noticed in the video now there's, like, not that much action. Yeah, this is pretty much typical Spain. It, it gets boring until, like, the pit stops or unless somebody, you know, crashes or blows up and safety car comes out. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but hopefully... Maybe somebody blows their engine and we get a nice safety car to bunch up the field, but at least our pit stops are occurring now, so hopefully something interesting will happen too. Okay, here we come for our pit stops. Kimmy and Lewis have pitted. Oh, and I forgot pit assist. I forgot to turn that off. God damn it. Where is our pit stall? Oh, it's all the way down here. All right. No, there's Kimmy. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go. Good. Williams was coming through. That's why we didn't get out a little bit sooner. But 2.7 seconds. That's not too bad. Pretty good. Not that much action has happened. I hope it, I hope at least a safety car does come out. Like Bahrain. Because it's certainly your normal Spanish Grand Prix race. You know, it's just all spread out. It's pretty much boring. <laughs> I apologize for that. I Hopefully, one of the AI just decides to you know, cause a safety car, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up on two laps to go. Yeah, I doubt that safety car's gonna come out now. <laughs> but, um, seems like Massa is, like, way, way gone. But Weber, like, the two Red Bulls are actually second and third, so this could be a good result for Red Bull if they hang on to those second and third podium places. Oh, look at that. Daniel Ricciardo's now out of this. <laughs> Who's out of the session? It's not Ricardo. It's not. Oh, of course, it's Jensen Button. <laughs> too late, Jensen. It's too late. Now we're on the final lap. All right, and com off, coming off the final turn, Felipe Massa is going to win the Spanish Grand Prix. Actually, that's that's actually realistic. He did win the Spanish Grand Prix in real life. Mark Webber, I believe, came in second, and I believe, too, David Coulthard came in third place. So that's a very good result for that Red Bull team. After a few couple of races they've had, being outscored by Toro Rosso, <laughs> their sister team. Uh, we're going to come home and claim P6 in a somewhat okay-ish race. It wasn't the best, but it was alright. We got some points. The the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. They've done it then, a spectacular victory here in Spain and a massive confidence boost going into the next race. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. Like I said, it was an okay-ish race. Obviously, from the start, that's pretty much the, the downhill <laughs> because we went from second to sixth, but that's all right. We're still second in the standings, obviously 31 points behind, but we'll make sure to uh, to get back to where we are. So hopefully in the next episode, we can at least try to get a good result. Speaking of good results, though, like I said, Mark Webber and Coulthard, both in the Red Bulls, very good result. Yarno truly, oh man, he is down there, and Jensen Button was obviously the only retiree from this race. Alright, so obviously, like I said for like the third goddamn time, it was an okay-ish race, but boring, but you know, that's what happens with most of these races. You can't have them all chaotic, but we can hope that it's a little more chaotic next time in Canada. So yeah, we're going to be taking like a month break <laughs> in this career mode. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well if you did. And uh, join me next time where we will be racing in Canada. Take care.